What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about flying with a gun. Yes, you can fly with a gun. Welcome back everybody. Again, today we're going to be talking about flying with a gun and what you're going to need to do when you fly with a gun. Yes, if you did not know, you are able to fly with a gun. All right, the main thing is it's got to be in your checked bag. If you don't have a checked bag, then it's going to have to be a checked bag. All right, they're not going to let you take it on your carry on. That is not going to happen at all whatsoever. Okay couple of main pieces here. It's got to be in some type of hard case. All right, it's got to be in some type of hard case like this, okay? Or some type of hard case like this. They're very similar, they're just different sizes. All right, hard plastic, all right, composite or metal, all right? It can't be in some type of zip up case all right, you can't use the Glock case that it came in. It's got to have to be something a little more durable than that. Uh, I will say uh, the really popular one right now from what I've seen and heard is your Life Pod cases. I'll have a link for that down in the description. Unfortunately, I don't have one right now. Uh, this one right here is the main one that I use. All right, and I'm going to kind of describe why this is the main one that I use. Okay, and we're also going to talk about how the ammo needs to be, and then we're going to talk about what type of locks you're going to need. Okay, and this little orange thing you sit here, we're going to talk about that as well. But the main thing is it's got to be some type of hard composite plastic or metal case. Now, it doesn't have to be all fancy like this. Quick little plug, if you want something nice like this, Okay, go check out Carolina Custom Phone. He actually does phenomenal work for any type of case and not just gun related. Um, he does drones, he does cameras, he does musical equipment, whatever you need phone done for in your case and you want it looking nice when you open that thing up and everybody go, damn, you need to go check out Carolina Custom Phone. I'll have his information down in the description as well too, but he has done some absolutely phenomenal cases. Matter of fact, tell you what, next couple of videos are gonna be coming up pretty soon. After that, I'll have a video uh, showing off this case and describing it a little bit more, as well as the rifle case that he has done for me so you can see some of the awesome work that he does. The main reason I've got this is you've got to have foam in the case. Again, it doesn't have to be all cut fancy looking like this if you don't want to do that. You just cannot put the gun and the mags in an empty case like this. There has to be foam in it to help secure it. All right, if you want to get that convoluted foam, the little foam with little bumps in them, all right, you can use that. That is also another great thing that Carolina Custom Foam does is if you don't want and you just need some foam, you don't want to get fancy with it, that's fine. He has foam that you can go and get. Or if you've made some adjustments to your gun and the foam you've got in it isn't working, go out to his website, reach out to him, tell him I sent you, he'll take care of you, he'll get you some really, really great foam. Plus, his foam is not like the normal foam you're going to go and buy anywhere else so highly recommend using his stuff but again cannot be in an empty case there has to be foam in it to secure the gun all right what you're going to do the gun's got to be unloaded magazine unloaded so gun magazine in the case you're going to close it up shut it up lock it up and then it's got to go in your checked bag when you lock it I recommend using TSA approved locks. If you look right here, all right, it's got a little red and gray diamond shape to it. All right, that's how you know it's TSA approved. Now, if you go on their website, yes, it says you can use whatever locks that you want to use. But what you have to remember 
is the TSA approved locks for they can get into without having to cut because if they want to get in here and they want to search it they have that right so before some of y'all people start stomping around saying no no right that that they have that right to search it. so if you're not using TSA approved locks and they can't find you or get a hold of you to get this thing unlocked they're gonna cut those locks then you're gonna fly your gun is not gonna fly so I recommend using TSA approved locks but again you use whatever locks you want to use but I'm just gonna go ahead and use TSA approved locks you can get those at Ace Hardware, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, any hardware store. You can even get them off of Amazon and the internet. So they are very, very easy to find. Now, if you notice on this box here, I've got two holes right here. All right, same thing with this case. All right, I've got two holes, one here, one down there on that corner. However many holes you have on your gun case, there better be that many locks my rifle case I think there's four six holes in that thing it means I better have that many locks if one hole's missing a lock they're not gonna let you fly with it okay every hole has to have a lock now your ammunition they're not gonna let you put the ammunition in the same case as the gun all right now I cannot take and just dump ammunition into a loose case or ammo can or something like that the ammunition has to be in the original box, okay? So it's gotta be in the original box or it's gotta be in one of these little plastic cases that has your little individual slots in it. I can't just dump it into a case and go. They're not gonna let you do that. Matter of fact, they're gonna confiscate it and if they're a avid shooter, you just gave somebody a whole bunch of ammo for free. So it's got to be in the original box or again one of these plastic cases that have the individual slots. It cannot, cannot be loosey-goosey in a case like that. Now, gun locked up in the case in the suitcase. You can take the ammo if you want and sit it right on top of it. You can sit it next to it, but it's got to go in the same suitcase. It doesn't have to go in a different suitcase. It can be in the same suitcase. It just can't be in the same container as the actual firearm. Once you get to the airport, you go up to the check counter. You go up, you'll tell them you've got a gun you need to declare. They're going to have you take it out, unlock it. They're going to have you open it up. Okay, you're going to open it up. They're going to ask you, is the gun unloaded? It better be. It better be. And you're going to tell them, yes, it's unloaded. Then, depending on who you fly with, I don't know if all of them are orange. All right, I was flying with Delta at the time. They gave me this little orange thing that says firearm unloaded. All right, on this side, you're gonna sign and date it. They're gonna initial it. You're gonna put it in the case with your gun. Close it up, shut it up, lock it up, back in the suitcase. You can tell them that there is ammo. They're gonna verify that it is in the correct container. Um, if you forget to tell them, they'll see it when they run it through the x-ray machine, but just go ahead and mention, yes, I do have ammo. Yes, it is in the correct container. Then it's going to kind of depend on the airport that you're at. All right, what I did when I flew out of Atlanta, they had me roll my suitcase over to this room. They've got this big, huge x-ray machine. You give it to them. They run it through the x-ray machine. They give you a thumbs up. They'll give it to the baggage people. You go through your security check, get on the plane. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, when I flew out of Vegas, they, told, they did the same process we did here. That little orange card that I showed you, is going to be done every single time you fly. It's not one and done every. So if you have connecting flights, well, no, I think the connecting flights, they'll just pass it along. But once you have leave and come back, then they're going to have to do this again. All right. So what they did, same Delta. I flew with Delta back. All right. What they did is they told me, they said, just go down at the end of the counter give it about 15, 12, 15 minutes. If nobody gets you, you're good to go. So I set a timer on my watch. I waited 15 minutes. Nobody got me. I just kind of looked down at the clerk uh, who was within me being able to see them. They were able to see me. They just kind of gave me a little thumbs up and we went on our way and on the plane. So that's how simple it is. Just follow the rules, folks, and you can fly with a gun. But again, hard case, plastic composite metal, 
It's got to have locks on it. I recommend TSA approved locks. Ammo has to be in the original box or one of these plastic containers with the individual slot. It cannot be. Neither the gun nor the ammo can just be in an empty case like this. The inside has to have foam in it for the gun. The ammo has to be in something with individual slots. Or if you take the original box and you want to stack them into a case like this, you can do that or an ammo can. But it cannot just be dumped in here. I can't take the ammo out of this box and dump it in here and go. All right, I want to make sure everybody fully understands that. I will have all of TSA's link to their description page and how they go over everything are down in the description below here. But this is something that you can do. You can fly with a gun. Now, what I will tell you is go and watch my traveling with a gun video so you make sure you understand what you need to do where you're going because you need to make sure you understand the laws of where you're going because it's going to be a little different than where you're at and where you're from. So make sure you check all that stuff. Make sure you understand all that stuff. Your magazine capacity in certain states is different. Certain types of ammo can and can't be used in certain states. So these are things you need to check. That's in my travel with a gun video. Go and check that out. But I wanted to get to let everybody know what's involved when you fly with a gun. It's very simple. It's not overly complicated. Just make sure you got all the right stuff. If you don't have all the right stuff, I'm not going to let you fly with a gun. That doesn't mean they're not going to let you fly at all. They're just not going to let you take that gun unless it's properly secured and ammo is all in the right containers. Okay, I hope everybody has found this video very beneficial. It was not anything that takes a long time. Just follow the rules, folks. You're not going to have a problem. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.